Every child is special, but some children have special needs. 114, 215, 216. Lives can so often be touched and changed by the special gifts of children who see the world differently. Like the war between the Malis and the Dujon, which had gone on for generations, each tribe proclaiming God was on its side until both their lands lay in ruins, and no one alive could even remember why it had all started in the first place. Then came years of drought and famine, and talk of peace began. So one cold, late afternoon, with winter already in the air, I found myself traveling as a servant to Farron, the peacemaker, the man appointed by both sides to end the war. Our destination? the forbidden lands of Golgoroth, stronghold of the Mollies. Do you think we'll get out of this place alive? I don't know. The Mollies have never let anyone into their forbidden lands. We're the first. You know what I heard? If the Mollies caught a stranger looking at their sacred sites, they'd boil him alive, and the priests would eat him. Maybe if Farron doesn't make this peace, they'll eat us. And if they don't, I probably will. And I'll stick a large onion in your mouth first. I didn't mean to be disrespectful, sir. You are here to learn how to be a diplomat and a peacemaker, not a storyteller. Please apply what mind you have to searching out the truth. Here, put these on. Whatever you do, don't look. Who's in your party, Peacemaker? Myself, a young student and a servant. Hey, you! What are you looking at? It is forbidden to gaze upon the sacred lands. They're young. They can't have seen much. It won't happen again, please. We're here to make peace. All right, take them through. Do you want to be a Peacemaker or a Troublemaker, boy? A Peacemaker, sir. Then do not cross me again, ever! Just do what I say, no more, no less. So you are Farron? Yes. Your reputation precedes you. Welcome to Golgoroth. I am Ixus, High Priest and Chief Counselor to the Mali's King. As you know, the Dujan arrived tomorrow morning for Peace Council. In the meantime, the King would be pleased to meet with you before Council begins. Please tell His Majesty I must refuse his kind offer. Perhaps after the Council is over. Do you have everything you need? Everything. Thank you. You refused to see the king? Use your head, boy. It was a trick. Ixus knows that if the Dujan think I favor the Mali king, the Peace Council will never even get off the ground. So, he wants the war to go on? He and many others on both sides. You have a lot to learn. It is time we got some sleep. We will need to have our wits about us tomorrow. It wasn't just Liam who looked. I know. But you reserved all your censure for him. <laughs> the boy's a noodle. The Mali see Golgoroth as a symbol of their power. They would rather fight to the last man than surrender it. All we're asking for is peace. For true peace, Jess, men must always surrender what is most precious to them. Then what are we asking them? To hand over their land? I will ask them to surrender something much harder. Their desire for revenge. <laughs> Go to sleep now. Good night, sir.
I disappoint him, don't I? I don't mean to, Jess. I'd rather have his good opinion than anyone's. Even your own? You want to be a peacemaker, don't you? More than anything. Well, then you gotta believe in yourself. How can I, when I know I'll never be like him? You don't have to be. You've just gotta be you. I knew they wouldn't show. Ixus is the power behind the throne. He has lost his father, wife, and both children in this war. Well, he has reason to hate. Understand. All here have lost someone. And when the Dujan arrive, it will be the same for them. This is what we are dealing with. They have lost all hope. We must be their hope. Why should we allow the Dujan make us wait any longer? They're trying to insult us. What would you do? Start without them? Then perhaps Ixus would like to make peace with himself. The snows will have delayed them. Please, let's be patient. Jess, will you get me a little food? In my haste this morning, I forgot to eat. I'm looking for some food for my master. Uh, perhaps some bread and milk? Thank you. Stayed away. I could spit on them. Murderers, the whole damn lot of them. The king. Who's the boy? Taurus, the Mali king's eldest son. Baron, we are in your hands. Thank you, sir. First, who will speak for the Mali? I do. And for the Dujan? <gasps> I do. You mustn't come into the kitchen. Come on now. No! We'll find something nicer to count. No, 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 no! You all right? Yeah. Yes. He doesn't mean it. It's just that he... Yeah, I understand. Look, I'll go after him. You stay here, okay? Okay. The princess! Get her out of here! here. This is an outrage. You have gone on in an endless cycle of vengeance. Now you have had the courage to end it. Do not let this get in your way. They know our laws forbid any woman to enter the chamber. What do you want, Ixus? Peace or protocol? This is sacrilege, an insult to all our people. We do not recognize Mali law. And you raise your voice to Princess Kara. It's all right, Druda. What Druda says is true. I am Kara, daughter of the Dujan King, who has appointed me to be his spokesperson. If you won't talk to me, there is no one else here who holds his authority. And this council is at an end. And with it all, talk of peace. Two Jean dogs have brought on the short hero and so much. What? What? We do not discuss important matters with women. 161, 162, 163, 164, 165. 164 times 380. 147,552. Will you kill us? Will we kill you? 
Well, I hope not. How dare you insult us! I tell you, it's a profanity to make peace with these unbelievers. God is on our side and will grant us victory in the Shh. end. What do you say? Many peoples pray to God, claiming he is on their side. If I were God, I would have grown tired of their prayers by now. Kellen, you should come with me. Why do you ask me to choose sides? Answer your own prayers. And to Ixus, I would say, priest, you do not come here to pray for peace, but for war. And I will not hear you. Blasphema! Blasphema! That's what it is. Yes. 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 Are you a girl? Yes. Then why is your hair short? This is another Molly insult. He means you no harm. You know you shouldn't be here, Callum. We have to talk now. But I want to see my father. Yes, my father. Yes, my father. It's all right. Come to your papa, Callum. The half-wit child is the king's son? Go on. Yes, it seems so. Princess Kara, why has your father not come? Sir, he has been ill for some time and was too weak to make the journey because he did not trust us. And if he will not trust us, why should we trust them? What we agree here, my father promises to honor. And if he should die, then it will be the same, for then you will be speaking to the queen of the Dujan. You are the heir to the throne? But what about your brother? He was killed last month by a Mali raiding party. One more killed makes it even. Shh. And that is why your father is ill? Yes. He grieves for him. We all do. And how many of our children would he killed had he lived? How many of our dead must we count down the long years slaughtered by the Dujan? 30,427. We must not trust them. Wait. What did you just say? 30,427 Malis killed in the war. And what about the Dujan? How many were killed? 30,427 Dujan killed in the war. Kellen, are you saying it, it's the same number? The same number. I am old and sick. I have only my two sons left to me. Tell him I grieve for your brother. Farron, today the Malis will make peace with the Dujan. In fact, it took 15 more days for the Malis and the Dujan to make the peace that a small, fragile child had begun. Too long have our two peoples taken up swords against each other. God is not on the Mali side. God is not on the Dujan side. He is on the side of peace. It is not enough to just talk about peace. We must work at it, believe in it, and only then can we live it. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. I saw then the real skill and wisdom of Farron the peacemaker, and Liam's growing sense of worthlessness along with Cowan's unique way of observing the world around him. And in the intervals between the talking, we all saw the growing closeness between Prince Taurus and Princess Kara. Here. Hey! Till at last, the talking was over.
show they were bound to the peace they had made, each side agreed to surrender the one thing most valuable to them within seven days. To complete his duties, Farron said he would speak to the Dujon King, and so, blindfolded once more, he left the Forbidden Land to journey back with Princess Kara to her home. How long have we been here? Five days or six? Five. What on earth could they be talking about in here? What the Dujon King should send as his token to the Mollies. <laughs> Jess, I'm gonna ask Farron to release me. Why? Because I'll never make it happen, will I? My dream. It's just gonna stay a dream. It's pointless hoping anymore, so I might as well stop. Farron! The agreement was to send your most precious thing. This is only what you can afford to lose. I am ashamed of my people and my father. I am so sorry, Farron. I am sorry too, Princess. This peace will not hold, and there is nothing more I can do here. Come, we are leaving. Token, gold. Yes. Looks like a lot to me. Don't you understand? It's nothing. Not enough to empty the exchequer. Ought to prevent them from buying arms if war should break out again. It's nothing. <clears throat> Let me help you, sir. Jess can take it. Let's get going. Taurus. The peace terms ask us to give into your keeping what is most valuable to us. So I bring my brother Callum. All I ask is that you take care of him. You bring a half-wit boy. When we have sent you our gold, I knew there would be treachery. Seize them! No, Judah! Don't do this, Judah, please! You are led by your heart. So you do not see that they have betrayed us. But God is on our side. And with his help, we will avenge this insult. Baron, help us. What can I do? Talk to my father. Very well, I will try. What will happen now, sir? Nothing. There is no hope left. There will be war. Is he all right? It is in the dark. It's because it's unfamiliar. He gets frightened of anything he isn't used to. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It isn't your fault. Will we be enemies now then? Never. And so, with the peace arrangement in tatters, Farron tried to resurrect a diplomatic solution. Enough! They have made a mockery of the peace settlement! And you have honored it with your gold? Be careful, Farron. Don't go too far. Sir. We have just received an ultimatum from the Mollies. Return Prince Taurus at once, or face war. Then it's war! Ah! I shall arrange to have the children of our leaders taken to a safe place. Yes, Truda. Tomorrow on the battlefield, the Mali's king will pay with what is most precious to him, his life. I am sorry, Princess. Lost all hope. Farron is a wise man. Princess, will you lose hope too? What else is there to do? We've lost. And now another generation will hate and fight and die, and for what? 
There's still hope. If you'll take it. I can't promise. And it'll take courage on all our parts. But I think I have a plan. What about the jailer? I put something in his drink. He'll sleep till morning. Come on, hurry. Prince Taurus, Jess and Liam will go with you. They will explain what we're doing. I will stay with the princess and Callum. I think you'll be all right with you. You stay with Kara, Callum. He'll be back soon. I'd go with you. Princess. We traveled all through the night and came at last to the Forbidden Lands. Which lay before us in ruins, a tribe fallen into decay. What now? Follow me. This was no symbol of power, but of a people near the brink of collapse, ravaged by an endless war. Sir, the prince has escaped with the imbecile child. What? And that's not all. Sir, your daughter is missing, and with her have gone all the children. The children? I gathered them together for their safety. This is the work of a devil. Farron. Where's Farron? Gone, sir. He left this. We are to meet on the field of the last battle with the Marlies. I shall raise the army. No Druda. No army. Just you and me. Father, not like you and your counselors who failed to honor the agreement. Because while you gave up your gold, the king of the Malis gave up the most precious thing of all to him, his son. Now they are all here, all the children of the Malis, all the children of the Dujan, who are left. Why have you brought them here? Tell them, Liam. Tell them both. They're here for you to kill. Why does that shock you? You both choose to continue a war claiming God is on your side. So kill them. Kill them all now. Because if you don't do it today, your God will fill them all with hatred until they are old enough to kill each other. Soon after that, Farron released me from his service, and for a time, I never knew if the peace between the Mollies and the Dujon held, or if both tribes further disbanded. Then one day, I received a message to return to Golgara. From the day they married, Taras and Kara lived as king and queen of a united people. But what I remember best about that joyful day was something else. Thank you.